Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang complex fractions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So ano ba ang complex fractions? So, a complex rational expression or complex fraction is a rational expression that has one or more rational expressions in its numerator or denominator or both. So, from the word itself, complex fraction, big sabihin, complicated fraction siya. Meaning, isa siyang fraction kung saan yung numerator niya at denominator niya or both ay parehong nag include ng another fraction. So, for example, we have... 3 fourths all over 5 6. So, by the way, kapag meron tayong complex fraction, sineseparate natin yung numerator at denominator by a longer bar line compared doon sa mga bar line ng numerator at denominator. Tapos, may nabasa natin to as all over. So, for example, in this case, 3 fourths siya yung fraction sa numerator all over Yung fraction naman sa denominator na 5, 6. Okay? Same as kung mer naman na tayong rational algebra expression. So, let's say x all over x over x plus 1. So, yung numerator natin dito, hindi siya fraction. Normal algebra expression lang. But yung denominator natin, rational expression kasi meron siyang denominator. Okay, next example, x squared over x minus 1 all over x plus 1. This time, yung numerator naman natin yung rational expression kasi meron siyang denominator. And then, yung denominator natin, normal algebraic expression lang, walang denominator. And then last, x plus 1 over x minus 1 all over x minus 1 over x plus 1. So this time, para hong yung numerator natin at denominator natin ay rational expressions. So, these are the examples of complex rational expression or complex fraction. So, ang goal natin ngayon ay masimplify natin itong complex fraction into a single fraction, meaning yung numerator at denominator nyo na ay hindi rational expressions. Okay? Okay. To simplify a complex fraction, meron tayong dalawang method. So, method 1 at method 2. So, yung method 1, Sabi, write the numerator as one fraction and the denominator as one fraction. Then, invert the denominator and multiply. And then, yung method 2, multiply the numerator and the denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD of the fractions within the numerator and the denominator. Then, simplify. So, basically, ang pinakamadaling method para mag-simplify ng complex fraction ay itong method 2. Pero, papakitaan ko rin kayo ng how to solve complex fraction using method 1. Pero mostly, ang gagamitin na lang natin ay itong method 2. Okay? Okay, let's solve the first example. So, simplify 5 plus 3 over x all over 2 plus 1 over x. So, gamitin muna natin yung method 1. So, sabi sa method 1, gawin daw muna natin single fraction itong numerator at denominator. So, simplify muna natin to as one fraction. Yung numerator, so, di ba, parang ang LCD niya ay x. So, parang x, x divided by, ito ay 1, di ba? x divided by 1 is x times 5 is 5x. Okay? Plus, itong x divided by x is 1 times 3 is 3 then. So, we have 5x plus 3 over x. Then, all over, dito rin, ang LCD ay x, okay? And then, itong 2, parang may over 1 lang yan. So, divide natin. x divided by 1 is x times 2 is 2x. Plus, x divided by x is 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so therefore, para na tayong napunta sa division operation. Kaya sabi din sa step 1, invert, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, di-divide natin tong 5x plus 3 over x doon sa 2x plus 1 over x. So, kung malala nyo, ang ginagawa natin doon ay minumultiply na lang natin sila, then nireciprocal natin yung, yung divisor, which is in this case yung 2x plus 1 over x. So, babalik na rin natin. x over 2x plus 1. 
Okay, and then multiply natin. So, check natin kung meron pang makakancel. Meron, di ba, itong x sa numerator tsaka denominator. Then, wala na. So, therefore, our final answer is 5x plus 3 times 1 na to. So, 5x plus 3 over 1 na to times itong 2x plus 1. So, 2x plus 1. So, therefore, the final answer is 5x plus 3 over 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, kung isasolve naman natin using method 2, sabi doon, multiply daw natin both numerator tsaka denominator by the LCD noong bawat numerator tsaka denominator. So, therefore, hanapin muna natin yung LCD. So, sa numerator, ang denominator lang natin ay x, ba? Tapos, sa denominator, x lang din. So, therefore, automatic, ang LCD ay x. So, therefore, mumultiply natin uh, both numerator and denominator by the LCD, which is x. Okay? So, x over x. Okay? So, therefore, we have, eto, multiply natin sa distributive sa magiging 5x plus, etong 3 over x times x, cancel si x sa so magiging 3 na lang. Over, dito rin yung x din, distribute din natin. So, 2 times x is 2x plus 1 over x times x, so parang makakancel si x, so 1 na lang. So, therefore, paro din tayo ng nakuha, 5x plus 3, over 2x plus 1. Which is mas simple, ba? Okay? Okay, next we have 2 over x plus 3 over y all over 2 plus 1 over xy. So, gamitin uli natin yung method 2. So, hanapin natin yung LCD ng numerator sa denominators. So, sa numerator, ang denominators natin ay x tsaka y. Tapos, dun sa denominator naman, ang denominator natin ay ito lang, ba Yung xy. So, therefore, ano yung LCD nitong xy tsaka xy? So, automatic, ba Pag LCD, lahat to magiging kabilang. Pero, check natin kung may nag-repeat. So, sa x, may nag-repeat dito. So, sulat lang natin yung x as one factor. Same as dito sa y, nag-repeat din dito sa pangatlo. So, therefore, sulat lang natin yung y as a single factor. And then, itong xy, nasulat na natin as xy. So, hindi na natin nuulitin. So, therefore, the LCD is xy. Okay? Then, multiply na natin both numerator and denominator by that LCD. Okay? So, distribute uli. So, 2 over x times xy is, makakancel si x, matitira si y, tsaka si 2. So, 2y plus this time, 3 over y naman times xy. So, makakancel naman si y. Okay? Na matitira si x times si 3. So, 3x. Okay? Over. etong xy, multiply din natin. Distribute natin sa 2 plus 1 over xy. So, xy times 2 is 2xy. Okay? Plus, 1 over xy times xy is, cancel lang tong xy. So, magiging 1 na lang. Okay, so therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Hindi na natin mapafactor to, ba? So, therefore, ito na yung 2y plus 3x over 2xy plus 1. Okay? Okay, next we have x minus 1 minus 2 over x plus 2 all over x plus 2 minus 2 over x minus 1. Okay, so method 2 ulit tayo. So, hanapin muna natin yung LCD nung numerator tsaka denominator. So, sa numerator, ang denominator lang natin ay itong x plus 2. So, sulat natin. And then, dito sa denominator naman, ang denominator lang natin na involved ay itong x minus 1. Okay? So, pag hinanap natin yung LCD, automatic kasama tong dalawa na to sa magiging LCD. But notice na wala naman silang magiging kapareho kasi sila lang dalawa, ba? So, therefore, sila ng dalawa yung LCD, yung product nilang dalawa. Okay? So, therefore, multiply na natin yung numerator tsaka denominator dito sa LCD natin na x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay? And then, distribute na natin. Dito muna tayo sa numerator. Okay? So, magiging x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 1. Ano yon Parang x plus 2 times x minus 1 squared, right? Okay? Then, minus 2 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 1. So, makakancel tong x plus 2. Matitira 2 times x minus 1. So, 2 times x minus 1. Okay? Over. Dito naman, yung x plus 2 times x minus 1, multiply natin dito 
sa denominator, distributive ulit. So, x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. So, parang x minus 1 times x plus 2 squared. Tama, di ba? Then, minus. So, x plus 2 times x minus 1 times 2 over x minus 1. Sa so, makakancel naman si x minus 1, matitira si 2 times x plus 2. Okay, so, 2 times x plus 2. Okay, so, para hindi tayo mahirapan sa pag-simplify, kasi ito, mapapansin nyo, naka x minus 1 quantity squared, tas imamultiply mo pa sa x plus 2. So, mahabang multiplication ng polynomials. Mag-factoring tayo. Di ba itong numerator, may common factor sila na binomial na x minus 1? So, factor out muna natin yon So, magiging x minus 1 times Itong x plus 2 times x minus 1 quantity squared, factor out natin yung isang x minus 2. So, therefore, magiging na lang yan. x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so magiging 1 na lang yung exponent nitong x minus 1 squared. Kasi, factor out natin yung x minus 1. Okay? And yun ito, magiging minus 2 na lang. Kasi, factor out natin to Okay? Over. Dito rin, may common factor sila na x plus 2. So, i-factor out natin. x plus 2 times, nagiging ano na lang yan, x minus 1 times x plus 2. Okay, to the first power na lang si x plus 2. Minus, this time 2 na lang. Okay, kasi finactor natin tong x plus 2. Ngayon, saka tayo mag foil. Okay, so x minus 1 times, foil lang natin to. So, x squared, then negative x plus 2x minus 2 minus 2. Okay, over x plus 2 times, foil ulit, x squared plus 2x minus x minus 2 minus 2. Okay, so ngayon, combine natin yung similar term. So, x minus 1 times x squared negative x plus 2x positive x negative 2 minus 2 negative 4. Okay, over x plus 2 times ito rin x squared, 2x minus x is positive x. Then, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Okay, so, therefore, napansin nyo, makakancel natin to Yung x squared plus x minus 4, tsaka x squared plus x minus 4 sa numerator and denominator. So, ano matitira? x minus 1 over x plus 2. Okay, so, therefore, the final answer is x minus 1 over x plus 2. Okay? Okay, next we have x all over 1 minus 1 over 1 plus x over y. So, meron tayong cases kung saan mas advantageous gamitin yung method 1. Tulad nito, kasi kung mapapansin nyo, itong complex fraction natin, itong denominator niya, is complex fraction itself Then Kasi itong 1 all over 1 plus x over y is a complex fraction Then, So, kapag ginawa natin yung method 1, mas magiging straightforward yung process natin at hindi tayo malilito. Kasi, isimplify muna natin tong pinaka-denominator dun sa denominator natin dito sa actual complex fraction. And then, hanggang mapunta tayo sa simplest form niya. Okay, so try natin yung method 1. So, kapag ganito yung case natin, magsisimula tayo mag-simplify sa pinaka-huling denominator, which is this one, right? Okay, so simplify muna natin to. So, magiging x all over 1 minus 1 over. Simplify natin to as 1 fraction. So, parang may LCD na y. So, parang ito ay 1 over 1 lang, di ba? So, ganito lang yan. Y, yung LCD na y, divide natin sa denominator ng 1 na 1. So, y divided by 1 is y times 1 is y pa rin. Plus, y divided by y is 1 times x is x pa rin. Okay? Then, simplify natin to. So, parang x over 1 minus, so parang division. So, ito ay 1. So, parang 1 over 1 times reciprocal nito. So, y over y plus x. Okay, so simplifying further, we have x over 1 minus, so parang 1 times y over y plus x lang. So, y over y plus x lang. Okay? And then, ito naman, simplify natin. So, ang LCD naman this time ay itong y plus x. So, parang magiging x all over 
So, y plus x. So, itong 1, parang may over 1 din. So, divide natin yung y plus x divided by 1. y plus x pa rin times 1 is y plus x pa rin. Minus y plus x divided by y plus x is 1 times y is y. Okay, so simplify natin. x all over itong y tsaka negative y cancel. So, magtitira x na lang. So, x over y plus x. Okay? So, ngayon, divisionally tayo. Yung x over 1, kasi parang may over 1 to, ba? Multiply natin sa reciprocal nito, which is y plus x over x. Okay? So, obviously, may makakancel itong x. So, therefore, ang matitira ay 1 times y plus x is y plus x over 1 times 1 na lang, ba? So, over 1. Or simply, y plus x. Okay? So, therefore, the final answer is y plus x. Okay? Okay, so that's it for the topic complex fractions. So, basically, kapag meron tayong complex fractions, ang goal lang natin ay ma-reduce ito sa simplest term. Meaning, magiging single fraction na lang siya whose numerator and denominator does not involve rational expressions anymore. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.